I'm Laurie Cardoza-Moore, and this is Focus on Israel. In April of 2015, the Friends of Zion Museum opened as a once-in-a-lifetime experience for audiences from around the world. Visitors enter a whole new world where they meet the biblical figures, academics, businessmen, and military officials who, through their faith, have forged an everlasting bond between Jews and Christians and were instrumental in the rebirth of Israel. Hello, I'm Laurie Cardoza-Moore, and thank you for joining me today on Focus on Israel. In 2005, I founded Proclaiming Justice to the Nations to stop the silence, to wake up Christians and people of conscience to the realities of a world bent on destroying Israel and the Jewish people. From the start, PJTN has had a proven track record of fighting for the rights of Israel and the Jewish people a record of standing firm in the face of overwhelming odds against a world of Jew and Israel hatred, a record of not compromising on the very plan of God. The mission of this series and PJTN is to educate and equip you so that you can gain knowledge that you can share with family and friends. We'll present information you'll not hear in the mainstream media. And today, we'll take you to a place that you'll never see in the mainstream media. Located in the heart of Jerusalem, the Friends of Zion Museum brings stories of love and heroism to life using new and innovative media. The museum is Israel's first smart museum using groundbreaking technology found nowhere else in the nation as visitors experience the unfolding story as they move from the time of Genesis to present day Israel. The multimedia interactive displays appear to come to life before your very eyes. At the heart of it all are the stories of Christians who have given life, limb, reputation, and fortune to make the nation Israel alive and safe once again. What does it mean to say, here am I? For Abraham, it was to receive a promise that seemed impossible. For Jews expelled from their homeland, believing even when all seemed lost. Non-Jews who stood beside the people of Israel, friends of Zion. Amidst the evil of the Nazi Holocaust, Christians who risk their own lives to become beacons of hope, lights in the darkness, dreamers, visionaries, and brave. I saw and behold a tree in the midst of the earth. Discover the stories and embrace the connection through a cutting-edge interactive multimedia experience. The Friends of Zion Heritage Center in Jerusalem. I don't believe the Jewish state and modern Zionism would have been possible without Christian Zionism. It is my esteemed pleasure to welcome you to the Friends of Zion Heritage Center. The Friends of Zion Heritage Center pays tribute to a remarkable group of men and women who helped the people of the promise to return to the land of their birthright. The state of the art, one of the most extraordinary museums that I've ever been to. It's an extraordinary place, and all I can say is for every Jew in the world who thinks he's alone and thinks he has no friends, come to this museum. I really appreciate what you're doing in the front of this. 
Thank you very much, Mike, for the support throughout the years. You're the faces of why we're doing what we're doing. God bless you. For your everlasting assistance to Holocaust survivors. The new wars of the 21st century are media wars. This is a battle between darkness and light. This president has stood up with courage and integrity and we are honored to recognize him for his support. I am a friend of Israel. Being a friend of Israel is an important role that all of us can play no matter where we live in the world. Nothing is greater than the cause of friendship among human beings. The most important mission is make this country exist forever. Because if we lost it, history will not give us another chance. First opened in 2015, the Friends of Zion Museum in Jerusalem is the pinnacle showcase of author and activist Mike Evans. Forty years ago, Evans set out to build a bridge between Christianity and Judaism. The high-tech museum mainly hosts Christian tourists, but since opening has found that many Israelis are also being moved by the message. The narrative of the museum shows examples of the time Christians gave key support to both the Jewish people and the Jewish state. The campus is a $100 million project and incorporates cutting-edge Israeli-made technology. This, this great building, this edifice that, that Mike Evans has, uh, has translated into this history uh, of the Friends of Zion is, is quite marvelous and an answer to many prayers, my own prayers, I must say. Israel is a kind of a miracle to me, and certainly you have the evidence of that miracle in this building and all of the history. The modern features like video mapping aim to tell new audiences one of the most compelling and often unknown stories about modern Israel, the role of Christian Zionism. American Mike Evans built the museum to spread the word of Christian Zionism's place in history. Wanting a home for Christians to celebrate their heroes and their history, I found no place in Israel where Bible-believing Christians can go to, and they have heroes and they have history. There's so many of them. I mean, if you just take George Bush, 1844, this guy was a Hebrew professor, and he wrote a book that sold a million copies on the restoration of Israel. And yes, his two relatives were U.S. presidents. Others like Ord Wingate formed the first Jewish fighting unit in nearly 2,000 years, the beginning of the Israeli modern army we see today. Women like Corrie ten Boom and her family. The Nazis killed her father and sister, and she suffered in a concentration camp because they hid Jews during the Holocaust. And Swedish diplomat Raoul Wallenberg faced death to save Jews. In the dead of winter, Wallenberg joined the thousands of Jewish prisoners in the death marches to Auschwitz, trying to save anyone he could. What was it that to face death, I realized, number one, it was their Bible. They had an intimate relationship with the living Lord, and they loved the Word of God, and they were willing to commit their life for it. And with the Word of God came promises to the Jewish people. Those scriptural promises are woven through the exhibits, from Ezekiel to Isaiah to Abraham. According to the ancient writings, one day God appeared to Abram and spoke the words that would give birth to the nation of Israel. For Evans, the museum lets the Jewish people know that although enemies surround Israel, they're not alone. They see Auschwitz and what they went through, and they see the alienation in the world today, and they come through it and they say, we're not alone. There's Christians who really love us. And it's, it's just amazing to see that. It gives me hope I'm not alone. That's enough. On a day I didn't know 
about the Friends of Zion project until Mike Evans he knew I was coming for my concert. Okay, great picture. And said, we want to give you an honor at the, at the Friends of Zion Museum. I thought I knew a great deal, and I do, about the Christians who've sacrificed and risked their lives, in some cases given their lives. But I learned about people whose names I didn't know and fabulous accomplishments, saving hundreds or even thousands of Jews from annihilation at risk to their own lives. And uh, it, it, it's so inspiring to me. It tells the story so beautifully that by the time we leave, we are aware that, that particularly Christians have become part of what God said he was going to do for Israel. It will happen that they will never be driven out of their land again. For this incredible award to be given here at the Friends of Zion the Museum is just one of a handful of most important highlights in my whole life. We've always admired Mike for, for the books he's written, the stands, the causes that he's undertaken for Israel. Mike Evans the, and father and son have done the world a great service. Everybody who comes to Israel needs to come here. I want to take you to Israel in pictures and film. I want you to see how God's sovereign hand can be seen before our eyes right here in this land. That's why PJTN is offering a special anniversary package that includes a captivating new book and award-winning DVD. Israel Rising is a unique visual story of Israel's miraculous journey from unforgiving desert to thriving nation. Thousands of years ago, the prophet Ezekiel foretold a future time in which the arid land of Israel would come alive for its people. Now this breathtaking book documents the fulfillment of this vision as rarely seen photographs from the 1880s to the 1940s are juxtaposed with recent photos of the same locations. This book will inspire and captivate you as it illuminates Israel's foretold awakening in a new and unforgettable way. In addition, you'll receive the award-winning documentary, Israel Indivisible, The Case for the Ancient Homeland. This inspiring film examines the many political twists and turns that make Israel the world's most controversial nation. From Abraham and the Promise to the issues facing the Jewish state today, the film examines the historical, archaeological, legal, and biblical foundations for the modern state of Israel. This is a limited time offer for these two remarkable resources for just a one-time gift of $70 today. Your generous donation will help ensure that PJTN stays on the front lines and in the headlines of all the important issues facing Israel and our Jewish brethren. So please go to PJTN.org today. From studying history, it's very clear that what starts with the Jews never ends only with the Jews we must strongly stand against any anti-Semitic trends. For if not stopped, they'll cause harm to all of us, and we'll witness the downfall of our Judeo-Christian Western culture. Today, many people say there's no longer a need for a Jewish state, that Jews around the world no longer need a place of refuge. But anyone who has heard recent statistics about the worldwide rise in anti-Semitism would never make such a claim. The reality is that neo-Nazi groups and Nazi sympathizers are increasing around the world. Surveys show that over one billion people in the world harbor anti-Semitic attitudes. Close to 50% believe that Jews have too much power in the business world, and two-thirds of the world's population has never heard of the Holocaust, or believe the historic accounts of it are inaccurate. Don't let yourself be manipulated by evil people with a wicked agenda. When the self-serving villains are in control, good people from all religions suffer. Muslims, Christians, and all people of conscience should stand proudly and show respect for a country 
who gives so much to the world in so many ways. Do your part, do your research, and do what you can to make a difference. Because what happens in Israel does affect us all. This is not just a Jewish or just an Israeli problem. This is a problem for all humanity, for each and every one of us who believe in freedom and human rights. Learn more about what you can do at PJTN.org. On November 3rd, 2019, Friends of Zion opened its revolutionary state-of-the-art media center. The new center will allow the Friends of Zion Heritage Center to educate and activate its 67 million supporters in new and never-before-imagined ways about what it truly means to be a Zionist. I was so honored to be a part of the grand opening and meet both Prime Minister Netanyahu and U.S. Ambassador to Israel, David Friedman. The event was a celebration of Zionism and the State of Israel. Our opening gala at the Friends of Zion Museum is to inaugurate the newly built media center, a source of knowledge and instruction designed to connect all journalists from all over the world with Israel and the Bible. Dear friends, please join me in welcoming the inspiring Dr. Mike Evans. What an honor it is tonight to be here, especially with Israel's greatest prime minister. What you're seeing here is the largest media center in the state of Israel, the highest technology. We want to make this a gift to the state of Israel. The greatest communicator in the world is this prime minister. And we want this to be a tool for him to communicate with. The new face of anti-Semitism is anti-Zionism. Israel's new enemies are waging an economic war against it through global boycott campaigns. They target Israel on social media to influence public opinion. They are challenging free world values and traditions. But be sure, my friends, in all these wars, light will prevail. The Friends of Zion Heritage Center's contingents number millions of loyal friends who help fight anti-Zionism on social media and reveal the truth to the world. Jerusalem, Israel's eternal capital, home of the Friends of Zion Museum, one of the most cutting-edge, state-of-the-art museums in the world. And our heritage center is constantly evolving. We are launching a world-class education complex and research institute, perfectly designed for the new generation of Israel's defenders, the Friends of Zion ambassadors. Our five-story social media hub provides them with 21st century communication tools and information to successfully counter anti-Semitism in any form it takes, anywhere. Dear young ambassadors, you are going to serve the diplomacy of the future. If you want to be great citizens, serve a great cause. Nothing is greater than the cause of friendship among human beings. What are we going to do at the Ambassador Institute? We are going to train 100,000 Christian ambassadors to be ambassadors in their own country to defend Israel's brand and to combat anti-Semitism. Now, the beautiful part about this is we're partnering with Blackboard using adoptive learning technology. <laughs> Secondly, we're creating Faz I, an online academy to train tens of millions of evangelicals. We are doing this all for Israel. It's all about Israel. 
Tonight we are seeing technology in its best sense, as a means of communicating God's word, as a means of reporting the news fairly and honestly, as a means of combating anti-Zionism and other vile forms of anti-Semitism, and as a means of bringing a message of hope, faith, and optimism to people around the world who deeply thirst for such a message. So congratulations to Dr. Evans and the Friends of Zion. May you succeed in creating a safer and more secure Israel in a more just and a more humane world. May God bless all of you, and may God bless Israel and the United States of America. Thank you very much. Mike Evans, it's a delight for Sarah and me to be with you, and Caroline, your wife, and with David Friedman, and his wife, Tammy. See, David helps us with uh, strategic depth, and Mike Evans helps us with strategic height, and both have a deep, deep heart. And we're grateful for your tremendous support, your love of Zion, love of Jerusalem, and it's a reunited city, and I want to guarantee you as long as I have anything to do with it, it will never be divided again, ever. Not going to happen. There is also the sharing of common values, and that's what we have here today. The alliance of those who believe in our great Judeo-Christian tradition. We have no better friends in the world than our Christian friends. And I want to thank each of you for your friendship. Thank you for your solidarity, always. So I welcome the opportunity to speak to the Friends of Zion. I welcome the opportunity to speak to our Christian friends. And I welcome the opportunity to speak to the press. Any questions? Please. Thank you, Mrs. Lori Cordoza from Daystar TV. Sarah, happy birthday. I just want you to know what an honor it is to be here with you. We have, you've got many admirers around the world, and you are a rock to your husband. Thank you for standing in the face of such adversity with such grace. Thank Mr. You. Prime Minister, it is an honor to be here, sir. Thank you so much for allowing us to stand with you in claiming your biblical rights to this ancient homeland. Christian Zionists from around the world watch our Focus on Israel show, and we hear from them every week about how to fight and combat anti-Semitism. And I would like to ask you, sir, if you had the opportunity to speak to every one of our viewers, and just mind you, 200 nations, over 2 billion viewers every week watching this show, and this will be a show, this will be a program, what would you say to those Christians who are praying for you, for Sarah, for, you, for your family, for the nation of Israel, what would you like to say to them, sir, in fighting, helping you fight and combat the growing threat of global anti-Semitism? I would tell them uh, the words that I wrote in uh, a visit with my wife and the uh, in the Wanzi Villa, where the final solution was concocted over an elegant brunch. Um, and what I wrote there after visiting this, uh, this amazing, uh, horrible uh, sight was, I wrote in the book of visitors, three words in Hebrew. Am Yisrael Chai, the people of Israel live. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I'll be back. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Well, that's our program for today. And I want you to know we appreciate your support. The time to take a stand is now. Be a leader in your community and in your church. 
one person can make a difference. Get involved with and support pro-Israel organizations such as PJTN. Call your senators, congressmen, let your elected leaders hear from you. Visit our website to learn more. Sign up to receive action alerts and order our films to share with family and friends. Please encourage everyone you know to tune in and become informed. God bless you and thank you for all you do on behalf of our Jewish brethren and all Israel. We'll see you next time on Focus on Israel. To support this program, send your tax-deductible gift to Proclaiming Justice to the Nations, P.O. Box 682711, Franklin, Tennessee, 37068. You can also support PJTN online. Visit PJTN.org or call 1-877-873-9020. Anti-Semitism has reached epic proportions, and Israel is now surrounded by nations who seek its destruction. For Israel to lose just one battle would mean losing everything. As Christians, it is our biblical responsibility to stand with our Jewish brethren and Israel. PJTN needs your help to reach more Christians with this urgent message. Please visit our website to become a member today and order our award-winning documentaries. You must decide that you won't be silent. Sign up now at PJTN.org. God bless you and thank you for your support and prayers. Focus on Israel is now available on DVD. Each program DVD contains a wealth of bonus materials, including the premier program that started it all, Focus on Israel, program number one. Also, bonus interview cuts with experts in their respective fields. Informational videos from PJTN documentaries, including Israel Indivisible, the case for the ancient homeland lest we forget 9-11 and the rise of Islam, the forgotten people, Christianity and the Holocaust, disinformation, the secret strategy to destroy the West, plus the award-winning music video, The Forgotten People. Focus on Israel program DVDs, great educational tools to combat anti-Semitism. Arm yourself and order today. Please go online to pjtn.org to order, just click on the store tab. Thanks and blessings from Focus on Israel.